It's an interesting time given the spotlight on technology firms. Absolutely. Uh, 500 is, uh, is a different breed of uh, technology companies, uh, I should say. It focuses on seed uh, slash venture capital investment. It has a global reach. It's uh, in every single continent. Um, and I think it's uh, very much different than the mature uh, technology giants um, that, uh, that are there today. What, 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 do you get, what do you make of the, the negative news flow towards some of these mature technology giants, whether it's Facebook, whether it's mm -hmm. President Trump attacking Amazon, you know, to name but a few, Tesla's another one going through a difficult period. I think to be fair, those companies are disrupting, continuously disrupting the status quo. Mm. Um, they are improving uh, the lives of, uh, of people, economies uh, in the longer term. Uh, we've seen how technology changed the way we live uh, in the past uh, 20 years. Mm. Um, there will be scrutiny, there will be challenges, but I think this is, you know, a very short term. Can you tell us about this investment in 500 startups? Can you tell us what, how much you're investing, what sort of stake it'll give you? So, so for us, this is a strategic stake. Um, we've invested in the company itself, uh, in, the, in, the, in the mother company itself. Uh, 500 startups uh, manages several uh, venture capital funds. Um, it's in uh, many different countries, about 18 countries in every single continent. Uh, 500 Startups is unique. It was one of the most active uh, VC investors in 2017. Um, 500 Startups uh, has been uh, in touch with ADFG. We are an investor in one of their funds. Mm. We've uh, had a great chemistry with the team. Uh, we've worked with them for a while and uh, we decided uh, last year it was the right time to take a stake in the company. Will you set up a VC fund investing in Middle East technology firms? They already have one. Right. And uh, I foresee that, uh, you know, us now being involved with uh, 500, um, there will be more activity in the Middle East. Yeah. What, what, what's good right now? I mean, where are you investing in? I mean, you're geographically, what's, what's enticing sectors? What's enticing? Mm. What are the prices like right now? In general, for ADFG, uh, we've, uh, we've recently uh, embarked on the technology uh, space. Mm. We've uh, built our own technology platform and we've augmented it with this investment. Um, other than technology, we are very much focused on the GCC region at the moment. So financial services firms, um, we've had uh, recently uh, different stakes in different financial services uh, companies uh, in, the, in the GCC and in the Middle East also. And we see uh, this as a great opportunity. You said back in December that you wanted to buy another asset manager. Any progress on that? Uh, who are you looking at where? Absolutely. What we've, sort of money do you have to, 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 to spend in this case? Absolutely. We've hired advisors already to, uh, to look for uh, a suitable firm that uh, ADFG can acquire. What would be suitable? Well, it has the same culture as we do, uh, the same uh, DNA in terms of our entrepreneurship uh, approach uh, to investing, uh, our opportunistic uh, approach, uh, fast, nimble, um, you know, a firm that can easily be bought onto ADFG. Um, our focus is going to be North America and Europe. Yeah, and when it comes to Shua and GFH, they're operating obviously as separate entities. What's your strategy for these investments? It's a very good question. You know, uh, if you notice Shua and GFH, those companies uh, were turbulent companies. They've had uh, massive uh, issues in the past. We've uh, taken helm of those companies uh, in the past two years and we've uh, really made a great turnaround out of them. The question today is, uh, are we going to go forward and do a, a consolidation play with this or not?